It's Winter Picks Dinner. Universal Studios Florida Edition. Welcome to another episode of Winner Picks Dinner, the show where we have a multi-course meal that's decided upon by two competitive games of rock, paper, scissors. Today, we are at Universal Studios Florida and we are going to explore the culinary delights of this park from the Wizarding World of Harry Potter to The Simpsons. Here's how the game works. We are going to have a five course meal today at Universal Studios Florida. Drinks, appetizers, entrees, desserts, and more drinks. And prior to each course, we are gonna play a game of rock, paper, scissors. The winner decides where we are gonna eat that round. And we've added a little twist. To avoid eating our entire day in the Wizarding World of Harry Potter, which- Doesn't sound bad. Doesn't sound bad. In fact, we've done a whole Winter Picks Dinner Harry Potter uh -huh. episode, and we're both nerds, so we would love to spend all day in Diagon Alley. However, to encourage us to explore and share more culinary delights across the park, once you have chosen a land, and it is out of play. So if we have drinks at the Leaky Cauldron, we cannot have ice cream at Florian Fortescue's. So as always, strategery is of the utmost importance. What a jaunty bit of music. Everyone loves a jazz square. Everyone loves a jazz square. <laughs> All right, are you ready? Yeah. First up is drinks. 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 Can we say it again? Drinks. I am not gonna be able to stop dancing. I just can't help it. That's potentially problematic. <laughs> Shall we? Yes. On shoot. Yes. Ready. This is, come on, it's 2024 wrist. We got it. You got it. Ready? Yes. Rock, paper, scissors, scissors shoot. Oh. oh, okay. Ready? Rock, Rock paper, scissors, scissors shoot. Oh, 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 oh. All right, ready? Yeah. Rock, Rock paper, scissors, 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 shoot. Oh, you win. Molly's taking drinks. Okay, here's the thing. My heart wants to go to Diagon Alley and get one of the custom Wizarding World of Harry Potter beers because I love them so much, but I also don't know if I want to blow going to Wizarding World this early when there's butterbeer to be had for a dessert, there's Florian Fortescue's ice cream for dessert, there's delicious potatoes for an appetizer, so I think I'm gonna bank on me winning again, which is a terrible, terrible odds. But you know what, we're gonna manifest it. Could go to Simpsons and go to Duff Brewery. Those beers are custom, those are pretty good. Could, have, could go to Finnegan's, the Irish pub over by where kind of the beat builders perform in The Mummy. Oh. Oh. I wanna go see my best friend. Saw Betty Boop and Beetlejuice on our walk and Beetlejuice is cracking me up because some kid kept saying his name over and over again and he's like, yeah, I'm already here, what do you want? And the little kid was not kidding it. <laughs> Their parents kept saying, no, say Beetlejuice three times. And he's like, yeah, I'm here, hi. Anyway, that was funny. And then also we met Betty Boop, who was lovely, but also maybe the weirdest character meet and greet in Universal. Okay, I was watching your warm-up for your rock, paper, scissors. Yeah. Game. Thank you, Betty. Who won? Who won? I did. Yeah, it was because of your extensive warm-up. I think that must have been it. Thank you, Betty. How are you? Oh, fabulous. Thank you so much. Happy New Year. You too. I like your jacket. Thank you. My Very God. fantastic. It's actually starting to warm up here. I don't even know. You don't even need it. it. No time to stop and chat with Beetlejuice, though, because I've got my sights set on a particular fin over yonder. Made it into San Francisco now. By choosing my location, I am knocking out Richter Burger, which has a pretty decent burger, but really good truffle fries. So can't have those for our app, but I think it's worth it. Because that means I get to have my first Universal Orlando theme park beverage of 2024 with my best friend, Bruce the Shark. And what could be better than that? We are gonna grab a little bevy here at Shea Alcatraz, which is this walk-up bar here by Bruce. One of the last things from when the Jaws ride was here. May it rest in pieces. Think of all the sharks. What do they do with them? Did they get destroyed? Are they, are they dead? They're in Japan. They mailed them over there. They that's, mailed them to Japan. Okay, that's believable. Anyway, here at Shea Alcatraz, they're a full bar, so you, you can do whatever kind of cocktail you like. They have a pretty good selection of beer, and then they do have some fun themed beverages that are nicely themed to this guy right there. Cocktails have been a quick... Could you... 
Make sure he's in the frame. Oh. He's very important. So sorry. <laughs> yeah, I so mean, sorry. come on. <laughs> Think about the order of importance of people in the shot right now. All right. Number one. What'd you get? <laughs> no, 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 what'd you get? <laughs> no, no, he's in frame. What'd you get? I got uh -huh. the cranberry lemon splash, which is normally made with deep eddy lemon vodka, soda water, cranberry juice, Sprite, and simple syrup. But this was recommended to me by the bartender after I said, hey, I don't like sweet drinks, what should I get? She said, get this, but take out the simple syrup. And I said, yes, but also take out the Sprite. <laughs> so it's just lemon vodka, a splash of cranberry, and soda water. Cheers. What did you get? Oh, that's delicious. I mean, it's something I would drink at home. It's refreshing, it's light, a little tartness from the lemon. What did you get? Ah, uh, yes. I got, I don't know if you can see it from here. It's the Alcatraz Double IPA. I wanted a brew. And this one called to me, given the location and the name on the can here. Cheers. Woo! That is very hoppy, very hop forward. Um, clearly, I can taste the malt, a lot of pine flavor. First of all, this is an IPA for people who love the taste of pine and they love the really strong hop aftertaste. Whoa, that's that's going to stick with you. I do like that. I think this is a sipping beer. This is certainly not a beer one can drink quickly. Would you say that it has a taste as iconic as the legendary island it's named after? The legendary island it's named after is famed for a lot of not great stuff, but this tastes great. So I don't know if it tastes like, you know, prisoner's demise, but you know, it's tasty. Mm. They do have, this is the home to the very famous ocean attack cocktail, where it's like everything sweet you can imagine, but there's uh, blue curacao in it and then the bartender will attack it and pour grenadine in it for like a shark attack uh, it's very fun and whimsical way too sweet for me and there's not enough ways to modify it where i still actually want to drink it so if you like sweet drinks get it if you like whimsy get it but no it's very very sweet all right it's appetizer time gonna continue to enjoy this cocktail with the best company yeah. and um You know, you know, at least it's good to know where you stand. <laughs> Bruce has been in my life longer than you have. That's fair. Never forget your beginning. Stay humble. Yeah. Um, <laughs> this video is just nonsense so far. <laughs> anyway, oh, yeah, yeah, anyway, yeah, yeah. we're going to do rock, paper, scissors here so we can be mulling over our appetizers. I knocked out San Fran, but there's still Wizarding World, Diagon Alley. There's still Springfield where the Simpsons are. There's still New York at the front of the park. Minions land. Minion, Minions has good food. That's a good call. All right. The power of Bruce compels you. It feels weirdly religious and kind of cult-like. I'm nervous. So. There was an exorcist house here last year. It's all canonical. Let's go. <laughs> Ready? Yeah. Rock, Rock paper, scissors, scissors, shoot. shoot. I'll take appetizers. All right. What are we thinking? So here's sort of the problem with Universal Studios floor is there's not a lot that I'd classify as an app. No. There's it's not a lot, lot of like of snacky stuff. I mean, if Richter Burger wasn't eliminated because of this delightful beverage, I'd pick the truffle fries here. Amazing. Springfield is mostly entrees. Yeah. New York, you could do something like a pretzel, I guess. Yeah, there's of course like classic. Popcorn. There's like, yeah, pretzel, popcorn. There's Same no to a Minion Land, honestly. Banana popcorn. I mean, it, it was surprising. It was more like banana bread. Surprisingly yeah. better than expected. Oh, stance. Let's get the jacket potato. I mean, it will unfortunately knock out the Wizarding World of Harry Potter. But, but potatoes are delicious. I agree. Potatoes are delicious. We have made it into the Wizarding World. Uh, well, the London bits of the Wizarding World, that is. London is full of wizards, canonically true. Okay. <laughs> and as we make our way past 
the night bus and the night bus conductor. We are going to pick up our delicious jacket potato. Do you have a preference on what you want this time around? I gotta scope it out, but probably shepherd's pie. Is today the day you finally pick up the night bus merch? Okay, I've wanted this shirt forever and I just haven't bought it for some reason. But look at this new purse, look how cute it is! It also seems really practical. <laughs> Get it! On the way out. We have picked up our loaded jacket potato. Now, normally we would go for the shepherd's pie potato. However, wanted to mix it up this time around. So we got the loaded potato that comes with sour cream cheese and bacon bits, but combined that with the broccoli and cheese variety, essentially we just added broccoli to this loaded potato. And this is the beautiful, delectable creation that we have gotten. Thank you, Vanna, well done. Bum, ba, da, bum. Catching Molly's valiant attempts at uh, spreading the butter around the potato. It's going well. It's going all right. You're doing great. I love a baked potato, man. I'm excited to try it. The addition of the broccoli is gonna, listen, this makes it healthy. You know? Follow us for more health tips. Yes. Get everything. Nice, good bite. Good. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Coming up for air for a moment to give you a food review. I'm this just spreading is... more butter. <laughs> the only reason I've stopped eating. This is a good baked potato, but it is a baked potato. I think if you're looking for something more unique, go for the shepherd's pie version. It's also, in my opinion, the best bang for your buck when you're looking at these potatoes as well, just because of all of the different variety of toppings that do come on this potato. I love a baked potato. They're a classic food, they're a solid food. Sometimes there's nothing better than just a good baked potato, but I agree. The shepherd's pie is definitely the most unique and filling. So if you're gonna get one of these, I recommend that one. And it is truly one of my favorite Wizarding World foods. But I mean, for an appetizer, it's hard to go wrong with a jack of potato. I'm really enjoying it. I, I gotta say, the addition of broccoli, that's a win. And I like the theming that they call them crisps at that stand. All right, we're gonna enjoy this. We'll get back to you for the next round. Appetizer has been had. I feel good now. That's giving me a good base. I'm ready as well. Okay. I'm still hungry though. I want the record to reflect I'm still hungry. <laughs> I'm just also staring at this mallard duck that's just floating across the bridge over there. Okay, I think we're a real duck. Oh, no, no, that no, no, is, no. That's a giant duck. Yeah. If a duck was that big for real, would you be scared of it? Yes. Ducks, generally, I'm not scared of, but... Big size ducks, very frightening. Anyway, entree round. Would you rather round. fight oh, okay. one duck that size or a hundred tiny ducks? A hundred tiny ducks. And they're all out for blood. Cool. You'd rather fight a hundred tiny ducks than one big duck? I can kick them, step on them. Think about the wingspan on a duck that size. That's true, it could take you out. Let, let us know in the comments, would you rather fight one duck this size or a hundred tiny ducks? And I'm talking like... Okay. You let us know. It's the one big duck, guys. All right, ready? Yeah. Entrees. Entrees. Let's do this thing. Okay. Ready? Yeah. Rock, right, paper, scissors, shoot. Beep, bop, boop, bop, beep, bop, boop, bop, beep, bop, boop, ba, da, ba, doop, ba, ba, do, ba, do, ba, I thought because I often go scissors, you would go rock. Sorry, go on. I thought because I often go scissors, you would go rock, and then I would beat you with paper, but it didn't work. That's a good thought, though. Okay, let's remind ourselves of what we're missing out on. We've locked ourselves out of Richter Burger, which is a bummer, because a burger sounds tasty. We also cannot go into Diagon Alley and Leaky Cauldron. If I'm being honest, I'm not sure I want to. It's very busy right now. Today Cafe, Ooh, that is, that's an option. Minion Cafe, while well, we're talking about cafes, you know what? <laughs> I want to go to Springfield, to Fast Food Boulevard, because it has been a minute since I've been, I think I've been there once in the last two years. I'd like to go there. The Krusty Burger's tasty. We're gonna get a Krusty Burger. What's wrong? What? What's wrong? You know how a creature comes out right here? I do. It's a fun little Easter egg. It's great. The amount of people calling him Dobby. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> No. And my like nerd no. self no. trying to not go, no. um, actually, because like no one wants that, but it's hurting me a little bit. Cardinal sin to, to, call, Do to call Creature Dobby. <laughs> I mean, seriously, look at the size of that duck. It's in the water. I didn't realize it was it's like floating so in the water. Big. I thought it was on the bridge. It's I mean, massive. Universal right. is going all in on migration. I mean, illumination, yes, I agree. And yes. also, now seeing the true size of the duck, you definitely don't want to fight this thing. Yeah, yeah the, the wingspan. 
we're doing a little size comparison on the duck situation. Alan is in here for scale. Alan is 6'4", and look, look, the duck goes much lower. I don't want the perspective to get lost here. Alan maybe comes up to its wing, like, like midway through the wing if he's on level with the duck. <laughs> the size of the poop of the duck, okay. That's where we're at. Anyway, that's that's the You're duck. You're afraid of birds flying over you? Yeah. That one flies over you and puts on there? Yeah, I, I mean, what the duck is going on here, you know what I mean? Walking into fast food lane, there is quite the variety here from burgers with Krusty Burger, fried chicken with Cletus' Chicken Shack, some seafood with the Frying Dutchman, Lisa's Tea House of Horror that has some sandwiches, and Luigi's Pizza. So if you've got a large group who is pretty picky, who has a wide variety of opinions, this is a really good place to go because it has something for everybody. They also have Moe's Tavern inside where you can grab one of the iconic Duff beers or a non-alcoholic beverage, the Flaming Moe, should you show desire. And if you are a fan of The Simpsons, you can find a whole lot of fun Easter eggs that reference the show throughout this space as well. Our food has arrived. I picked up the Krusty Burger, and Molly has picked up the Chicken and Waffle Sandwich. As a pro tip, I highly, highly, highly recommend mobile ordering at Fast Food Boulevard. It's very, very busy today, don't get me wrong, but it's also very popular, especially during peak meal times. You could wait a long time. They actually had a line to get in a line to then order amongst the different counters versus mobile order where you set it in, click that you're here. It still took maybe 10, 15 minutes to get our food, but I assure you that's much faster than waiting in the long line. So mobile order is your friend. 100%. I have picked up the Krusty Burger. This is a one third pound beef patty. Not to be confused with the clogger burger, which is two thirds pound. So choose your, yeah. choose your way. Honestly, I, we're going for a one third. We just had a jacket potato. Comes with their special sauce, cheese sauce, a giant tomato slice. Wow, full I mean, claim. listen, that's their claim, not mine. Iceberg lettuce, that, that's a... Would we call this a giant tomato that slice? That is a medium-sized Roma tomato slice. Okay. Not even heirloom, wow. guys, what are we doing? And it also comes with curly fries. Now, looking at the paper here that it's being served in, I've learned that they've had over dozens sold. Wow. Really inspires, wow. Conf inspires confidence. Wow. I don't know anything about The Simpsons, but that seems compelling. Dozens sold. What do you got? I decided to mix it up a little bit, and I got the chicken and waffle sandwich from Cletus's Chicken Shack, which is a crispy chicken sandwich where the bun is waffle, as you can see, and then it's got lettuce, tomato, and a maple syrup mayonnaise on top. We're gonna call it an aioli, though, so I don't think about it too much. And it's supposed to come with tater tots, but you can customize in the oven. I also went for the curly fry. Are you gonna want some fry sauce? I do like fry sauce. Again, mayonnaise gross. Fry sauce, which I understand Alan is making right now out of mixing ketchup and mayonnaise, delicious. Don't question it. Cheers. Wow, it's a lot of secret sauce. Mm. Got everywhere. Mm. 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 How's your burger? <clears throat> I'm surprised. Now the burger itself is an average theme park burger. I'm talking about the patty specifically. But the secret sauce is what's shocking me because normally, what do you think of when you think of a secret sauce? I asked you, I did what the servers do, the, the, the waiters, they come right when you're eating. Like this is so good, it's so tasty. <laughs> I'm waiting with bated breath. Thousand Island. Thousand Island dressing. <laughs> but this uh, is very clearly horseradish. It, it's a little bit like Thousand Island is the base, but they've added horseradish to it. So if you are not a fan of horseradish, might not enjoy the secret sauce on the Krusty Burger. I, however, am a fan of horseradish, and I think this adds a really unexpected element to this burger. The veg is fresh. I mean, it's a, it is a, an above average theme park burger solely because I'm a big fan of the sauce. What about yours? The chicken is hearty. There's a big piece of chicken on there. It's cooked really well. It's very, very crispy. It said it was double fried. The chicken itself though, not dried out, very moist. It's a little salty for me, the actual chicken is. Luckily, that's mostly taken care of by the sweetness of the waffle and the maple syrup mayonnaise. So if you want something a little bit more unique, I think this is a fun option. I also think the curly fries are good. For me, the biggest pain with Simpsons is how long it takes to get your food and how busy it is in there. And obviously, as a potter nerd, I'd rather eat in the theming of Wizarding World, but classic theme park food done well, can't fault it. Y'all, I just found out something incredibly upsetting. Alan has never seen the horror makeup show. This is blowing my mind right now. 
but we're gonna go see the show. Also to let our, our tummies settle before dessert. But we have Frightful. to see it, it's so good. We have to go. Universal's Horror Makeup Show is one of the hidden gems of this park, I think, or underrated gems of this park. It's one of very few things remaining from opening day and it is hilarious and it teaches you about how they do some of the makeup for horror movies as the name might suggest what now not only is the show quite comical and the hosts are a delight but you actually get to see some actual screen used props from classic horror films both in the show and in the lobby you've been in the lobby though right we've looked at the jaws props the Jurassic oh, yeah. Park. okay yeah. Yeah, so even if you don't want to see the show, which you should because it's great, but you should pop into the lobby because they have actual screen news props from Jaws, Jurassic Park, The Grinch, Halloween, Psycho, and it's just cool to think that this movie history is right here at Universal Orlando, which obviously makes sense. It's a movie studio. I get it, but just be excited. Be excited I'm with excited. me. Go on this journey. Thank you. I'm on the journey. Well, not yet. When we get there, I'll be on the journey, but I'm ready for the journey. I'm so excited. It happened several times today. I do recommend getting there like 15 minutes early just because it can fill up on a busy day, but it's a delight. I just think this lobby is so cool. I mean, I've talked about this before, but that's the actual Ben Gardner from the first jump scare in Jaws. You've got a raptor talon right here. Here's a raptor. Michael Myers' face from Halloween 2. Chucky. Hello, everyone! Let me hear you! Woo! He's a good friend of mine. His name is Mark James. He's here to give us a behind the scenes look at the creepy world of horror movies. So let's get those hands together for my good friend! <laughs> hey, everybody, how you doing? Yeah. Uh, I'm Mark, like Alex said, I'm a creature creator and a makeup effects artist. It's my job to gross you out, freak you out, and scare the poo poo out of you. Now, some of you may not know this, but Universal is the studio that invented the monster movie. Yeah! Oh, oh. oh my god! 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 Oh my god!
or in the wrong park for this joke. Here at Schwab's, you can get yourself a hand-scooped cup or cone of ice cream. They have a variety of toppings as well. They can also do shakes, some sundaes, floats, and again, they've got Dole Whip. It's Dole Whip pineapple only, but still, kind of fun that it's here. One strawberry malt acquired. It's massive, as you can see, so it's obviously a very easily shareable treat. I'm very excited about it, because I love a malt. You can malt anything. Maybe not anything. What happened if you malted like Coke? It'd be bad, right? Coffee. Milky Coke. Oh, coffee malt would not be bad. That'd be a frozen coffee. It's malt. Milk? What is yes. malt? It's malted milk. So milk. What? I had no idea what malted. Oh, like malted milk balls. Yep. <coughs> That's why carnation makes it. Right. Wow, we're all learning together. We're all, this is brand new information for everybody. Very tasty. Mm. I love the flavor of malts. It's what I would always get at the soda fountain growing up at my family's small town. I got a strawberry malt there the last time I went, like a few months ago. Yeah, very tasty though. Love it. Certainly not as exciting or unique as something like a butter beer or the big donut in Simpsons, um, or it's not as extravagant as some of the desserts you're gonna find like at Minions, but sometimes you just want some classic ice cream. Yeah. Gosh, I forgot how much I love malt. Mm -hmm. That's so good. Mm -hmm. Oh, wow. All right, drinks. Delicious malt consumed. So yummy in my tummy. Now I hate have, that I said that. I'm have, sorry, everyone, for saying yummy in my tummy. Like, I'm five. I'm so sorry. I, I regret it. We got drinks, right? I'm gonna lay awake tonight thinking about it. Well, you know, good thing it's immortalized on the internet. If Here we go. If we could edit it out. All right, ready? Yeah. Rock, Rock paper, paper, scissors, shoot. shoot. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna pick drinks. I was in a bad place, and now I'm even lower. <laughs> Woo! It makes sense. It makes sense. <laughs> Gummy in your tummy. I mean, it was. <laughs> <laughs> what did you say? <laughs> you even sang it! <laughs> it wasn't like you just said it, you just gave it a jingle. <laughs> Alright, I wanna go to Finnegan's. <laughs> well, we've run out of most places to grab beverages here in Universal Studios, Florida. We could swing by the Today Cafe to pick up a coffee, for example, or maybe the Minion Cafe to pick up one of the non-alcoholic options that they have there. But those specialty drinks are incredibly sweet, and that's, after a malt, that's not what I'm looking for. So, let's go to Finnegan's. It's a classic option in the New York section, and I can't wait to be there. An Irish pub here in the New York section, and it also features a full-service restaurant where reservations are recommended. I, didn't, I don't think I've actually ever eaten at the restaurant before. I don't think I have either. I've only drank here. Ha! Huh. Same. Well, anyway, that's what we're going to do today. We're going to go in here to the walk-up bar for our final drink of the day. Finnegan's is popping as always. It is a, I mean, it feels like a quintessential Irish pub. Loud, filled with a lot of chatter, live music. It usually is very busy, like Alan said, but the bartenders are awesome and they get you through pretty quick. So just kind of work your way in, obviously be polite. Um, but they're really, really fast. And it often looks more crowded than it actually is to just get a spot up at the bar. It's often people just in there. I picked up the Crooked Can High Stepper, which is made from the Crooked Can Brewery, a local Florida brewery. What'd you grab? I went for a snake bite, which is not shocking considering we were in a pub. Uh, it is harp ale and then a little bit of cider, but I always ask for more ale than cider. It's too sweet for me otherwise. Uh, I do believe, I've been told this from, from some friends from the UK, that this is what children drink. Snake bites is like a, a, like what you get when you're like 17, 18, first at the pub in the UK. Um, not someone as uh, distinguished as me normally, but let me know if that's true, friends from the UK, and also, it's delicious, I don't care. True. Cheers. Ooh. She did that snake bite just right. Crisp, refreshing, slight little bit of sweetness from the cider, but mostly just a good sip and beer as we sit here on this stoop and I do some people watching. Yeah. Stoop kids. Coming to a stoop near you.
Anyway, my high stepper's great. It's an IPA, a little hoppy, certainly not as hoppy as what I had earlier with the Alcatraz, um, but just enough to remind you that it's there. More refreshing, a little bit citrusy. I dig it. Finnegan's is a great spot to grab a drink and then watch some of the street entertainment that I don't think gets enough credit here at Universal. You've got the Vamos Bailando show, which is the Latin street party. That one's amazing. Blues Brothers, Beat Builders, fantastic. Stop at Finnegan's, get a beer, and enjoy some entertainment. Well, with that, we are at the end of another episode of Winter Picks Dinner. These are some of my favorite episodes to film because it's such a fun way to show theme park food, but with a little bit of a twist, a little bit more of a creative spin on it. So let us know what we should play next. In the meantime, friends, be sure to like this video, subscribe if you are new, follow us on all of our socials. And if you want to join the man fam in conversation about this or any of our other videos, join us on Discord. Links for all that are down below. And until next time, friends, I'm Molly. And I'm Alan. And it has been magical. It has been. You want to people watch for a bit? That's all I want. Okay, well, That's let's all do that. I ever want. Yeah, okay. Uh, if you need us, we'll be here on this stoop. What do you think they're taking the tree down? I think they're raining off my face. We asked two very different questions. <laughs>